hey guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl is in the williams how are you all doing hope you guys are good hope you guys are fine if you are new to the channel kindly click on the subscription button click on the notification bell to let you know whenever i post any new video now i was just thinking yeah before we go into the gist what if you click on my video and you just don't hear my voice and you just don't hear me say hello guys it's your girl is in the williams how would you feel how do you feel if another person gets to do the voice of my video? <laughs> Will you still feel the same way? Let me know what you think about this in the comment section. I know a lot of people will be like, isn't it? What are you thinking? But I just want to know, would you still flow with it like you guys flow with me now? Or would you feel like where is Ezine? If Ezine does not show up, we are not going to watch. Let me know what you think about it in the comment section. No, I am not going anywhere. I just, you know, decided to think about it. Let me know what you think about it in the comment section. Now, let's go back to the gist. So, today has been lots of drama. Hmm. Lucy became head of house and all hell was let loose today. Now, you all know, Lucy and Katrina are like the antique gue gue like I normally call them. Lucy is the, no, not not Kalusi, Kalusi in this game of Big Brother. And Katrina is the boss lady. And you all know both of them are like in charge of the kitchen. I told you guys there's gonna be drama. Didn't I tell you that the moment Lucy became head of house, I know, haha. It's just like moving from democracy to military. Just like it. That's what you, you know. And even in the diary session today, a lot of them kept saying the same thing. Lucy is one person that she's she's a very domesticated person number one and that's very good she loves cleaning she likes everything being in order she likes cooking but one thing she does not understand is this is a game this is not your house you know you do not come the only apart from your personal things your personal items every other thing the food the chairs everything was provided by big brother it's not your house so and these are adults not kids so you don't get them you cannot force them to do stuff or you just have to you know give them a suggestion and they are free to take it or leave it basically so what happened today they decided to fight about food which tell me which particular or which um uh season of big brother that they don't fight about food i knew they would have to ah i just knew it i knew it i told i don't know if i said it in one of my videos but i said every season they must fight about food no two ways about it they just have to is the spirit is there and guess what i got the fight today and it was between lucy in fact we had four actors the main actors were i think katrina and um tolani bad that we had the supporting cast lucy and praise so basically um, I don't even know how this whole thing happened, but I know it's about Tolani Badge. Um, hers is because I think she came, she already made eggs in the morning for herself. And Katrina already said that she's going to make food for everybody. And Tolani Badge did not even like finish the food. I, I think I saw her giving or Nengi eating out of the egg. And when um, Katrina was now cooking, she now brought her plate as far, you know, everybody does. And I think, I don't even remember what Katrina told her, but... You know Katrina, knowing her, it must. She questioned her like, "Why are you bringing the plates? Have you, Abi, you haven't you eaten or something like that?" And Tolani Badge was not having it. And, and then sometime Lucy now, you know, started talking to Praise and saying stuff. And then Praise replied. And then, you know, it went back and forth. So when Tolani Badge, they were like in the dining, that their dining space, their dining table, and Katrina was trying to talk and. Dorothy, I think Dorothy was trying to explain to Katrina what actually triggered Tolani Badge, what, you know, she said. And before you know it, Tolani Badge was like, ah, F you, you know, that kind of a thing, you this. And Katrina was, she has met her match. Oh, that's all I can say. She has met her match. This is the Tolani Badge 2.0. It's not as if I'm kind of like celebrating the fight, but at some point I've seen Katrina boss people around, you know, like she did to Watoni. Now give somebody giving her a taste of her medicine. Yeah. It kind of like looks good. But I think it wasn't like something necessary they should have shouted about and all that. But at the end of the day, Sha, they did a family meeting. That's what I call it. Also speak, spoke very well. Dorothy is smart. Neo Prince. Wow. They have good heads on their heads, these people. Lacon, you know, all these people, they made suggestions. And at the end of the day, they were like, okay, you mustn't have to make food for everybody, Katrina. It is not, you did not come there to do boy boy for anybody that's me saying no so you do not come there with that kitchen it is not your kitchen you know 
make food for the people that wants to eat your food and let everybody make their food. I think that's how they've been doing in the house. During the diary session, Lucy cried. She said maybe Big Brother should come and get a tax force or, tax force or something to put everybody in order and all that. I'm like, hmm. baby girl, you gotta chill. You gotta chill. You are leading humans adults not kids you don't expect them to do everything you want look at nengi had her role or her tenor and everything went smoothly we were not having any hassles and all that and now you've come and you want to like lord over these people hmm kojo it's not gonna happen like like this ones they're not gonna let you they, these people are very smart you know imagine if lucy i'm just imagining no just let's imagine something let's imagine if lucy was in a pepper dam season in fact pepper dam fits lucy but just imagine if lucy was in a pepper dam season and she's trying to bring this thing when we have the likes of mercy we have the likes of tacha we have shayi we have fraud in this kind of situation like she tried to do that kind of thing she's doing ah hey, hey. it was it will it will i will have something but some, somebody like obashola it will be <laughs> i can't even say it will be crazy you know um one of the other things um noted today was erica and kid wire they are taking things slow which is good you know they're starting with the bestie stuff and everything which is really really good there was this time that um they started doing their lovey lovey in front of watoni in the room and i was like hey god like watoni why do you still have to be there well anyways maybe the feeling she has for him is not that day but basically if it's me well i ain't gonna sit there and be smiling like what why would i smile why would i smile at you Seriously, I hope we are not going to be having a situation, the whole Ella and Messi situation in the reunion. No. You want me, you can't want me, I want my man. <laughs> I hope we are not going to be having that kind of situation because it's going to be funny. Another entanglement is Ozo. Okay, you all know we started this entanglement from last week with Ozo, Dorothy, and Nengi. Dorothy um, pulled herself out of the entanglement, so we now had Ozo and Nengi. But since then, um, Nengi has now kind of like given, not given Ozo her green light anymore. Yeah, we saw that happening. Now it looks like Nengi is now more closer to Prince and Ozo is not having it. He was even talking with Dorothy, was it tonight or yeah, I think it's this night or this evening. He was talking with Dorothy about it, like he's not cool, that he wants to like take himself out of it. I'm like, guy, now you understand what Dorothy was feeling. Even though her situation was way different from this, you know, but you understand now you are like the third wheel you had a thought really this relationship i knew Ozo would talk about this because the look on his face last night when prince was you know doing the work that he was doing kai i knew that uh, uh this guy is gonna not like what is going to happen and yeah talking about another ship in the house we look at um eric and lilo it looks like that ship has it's about to capsize because during the um uh, what's it called the diary session Lilo was like, Eric has become a distraction to her and ha, she's not going to let him sleep on her bed anymore. Like she does not want, she wants to focus on her game. I'm like, go girl. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. This is another soul that has been saved. Yes. So finally, we are going to be seeing Lilo in her element. Look, whether we like it or not, Lilo is a smart girl. She has, you know, shown us that. Look at the last, um, what challenge, what tax was that? Was it at the arena game? I think it was the arena game that she and Nengi actually um, went head to head or something or like got the fathers. You know, looking at it, you see that Lilo is actually very smart. You know, so just like we saw in last season when Gedoni left and it was as if all luck shined on Kafi, maybe we are going to be seeing that. Maybe Lilo will now, you know, um, start mingling with other people and be more open and then her game will actually be, you know, she'll, she'll have, um, she'll add more. She will not just be that Eric's gone body partner, that kind of a thing. So yeah, let me know what you think about this. So what else happened? I miss a lot today though. I've been going up and down today like wow but i thank god sha i thank god but this these are like the basic things or the things oh yeah they did yoga yeah they did yoga for one hour today and there was tears katrina cried dorothy cried lucy i think it was lucy lucy cried i think prince too cried if i'm not mistaken and lacon and erica oh goodness those people were busy just and laughing the way erica was even you know looking at them <laughs> See, I think Erica and um, Lacon make 
like the best friendships i'm still gonna say it they might just make the best friendships of the season you know their friendship is so cute to see it's so um heartwarming to see erica and lacon it's gonna be interesting to see them even outside the house i hope their friendship continues yeah and yeah what else oh praise 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 said something that was very fun he said the, in the bathroom then i think he went to the bathroom and lacon was i think lacon was having his bath or something so something had pushed him he did not know he now turned and looked and hey lacon's obunigwe <laughs> <laughs> his instrument of fellowship the thing is massive the thing is oh lord and the way he was even saying it you could see that it's true because even Lego was like ah this guy you know serious that kind of thing i'm like hey so it is true hmm. now wow hey now wow people of god let me know what you think about all this that has been happening in the house sorry i did not like go into details for everything but basically these are the interesting things for me the fight with katrina and um what's her name tolani badge was epic you know it was epic it was as if katrina was given a dose of her own medicine yeah it was very interesting to watch yes guys that's about it from me thank you so very much for being part of my channel if you've not already subscribed kindly click on the subscription button click on the notification bell to let you know whenever i post any new video so like on your way again i remain your girl is no williams have yourselves a beautiful day bye guys